Hi, welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda. I love saying things and I've got some new stuff to try out. Woohoohoo! Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please watch it all the way through. Um, please don't skip the ads because that's how I get money to keep buying things and giving things away. And it's just a few moments of your time. If you don't mind, please, my nose itches hair in my face but if you could help me out with that that would be awesome today I've got my concealer and powder and foundation on and I've set it with a setting spray and we're going to use profusions highlight and contour palette for my bronzer today I just really love the bronzer in this palette it is just beautiful it's a very nice light color for my fair complexion. It really just brings some color to my face without looking like I've rubbed dirt all over it. And I like this just for the bronzer. The highlight's okay, but I've got a fancy highlight to show you today. It is the Runway 9, 12, 18 from Marc Jacobs. And it is oversized seamless. It's glow time. Look how big this is. It is huge. It is called Worth the Weight, number 80. I can get rid of that now. Look at that. It is huge, it is beautiful. Let me swatch it for you. Look at that. I can't wait to put it on, but I'm going to put some blush on first. But look at that. That is gorgioso. And I've got a new palette that I'm using today, which I will also be swatching. I'm going to use this uh, Madison Miller Ofra palette for the blush today. go. It's buildable. A little, little piece of hair. It's just dazzling. Just dazzling. Dazzling in my face. What kind of accent is that? I don't know. But I make up lots of them. So let's get this amazing highlighter on my face. I have not put it on my face yet. Wow. Teresa is dead, talked me into this. Not that she has to twist my arm, but look at that. That is like glass. Look at that. That is insane. Welcome to the family, Marc Jacobs. It's my first Marc Jacobs item. I'm very excited about it. So, the next thing, the piece de resistance, is from Care Beauty. It is the Girl Scout palette. And it is colorful AF. Look at that. It is gorgioso. I already have my little, let me clean my swatch off my hand. Let's get to swatching. And this is a 16 color palette. Oh, that shimmers, that shimmers. Look at that glitter. That's a good glitter. Look at that. Very pretty. And then it's rest is greens and blues and a black, a little yellow. A 
And I accidentally ordered a second one of this palette. I forgot that I had ordered it and then I ordered another one. So it's probably going to be a giveaway. It's not swatching great, but it's not bad. We'll see how it performs on the eyes. My good friend Stacy, she kept going on and on about it, and we both love green palettes. So let's see how this does on the eyes. One more line of color to swatch. Oh my goodness. That's some pay dirt. These glitters are amazing. But look at that shimmery green. Oh. It's a pretty palette. It's I don't have another palette like it. I mean, I have other palettes with greens in it, but not with these really brilliant blues. And these glitters are pretty remarkable. And I do have my green nails for the next couple of weeks. Why? Because, oh, look at that highlight. Oh, my God. It never shows, the way the light hits, it never shows up great on this side. It always looks dazzling on my left side. So, where to start? Oh, my goodness. And as they say in the sound of music, let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. But none of these are like <laughs> amazing transition colors. I think I'm gonna start with Ganja. They're all named after pot. I'm gonna start with Ganja in my crease. It picks up pretty good. super yellow. It's not as dark yellow as I expected because that yellow is so much darker than that yellow. But I think it's a good place to start. Oh, and let me show you my shirt. It's Alice in Wonderland with tattoos. I love it. I just got it. I ordered it off the internet like on, well, I was on Facebook or Instagram and this t-shirt popped up and I've always wanted one because there's a whole series of Disney princesses like that are all badass and tattooed and Alice in Wonderland is like one of my very favorites of all. Very much so. And let's go with Chronic next. No. Let's go with Mary Jane. Let's find a good brush for that. And this is a unit 117 brush, Mary Jane. Nice and bright. I love some bright colors. I used to, like a year ago, you would not catch me play with colors like this. It was too intimidating. But over the last year of playing with makeup and being on YouTube, I've gotten ballsy. I've been able to expand my horizons makeup-wise. And I'm so glad that I have. And this is a Amora Us brush that I got from Shop Cherry for free as a, like, gift with purchase. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the greens and yellows today because blue is just blue I'm not comfortable with blues. But there's the blues the blues are beautiful. Um, I'm going to go into weed here, this darker green. Oh, come on, pick up. There we go. It's not much, it comes off not much darker than 
Mary Jane. It's about the same color when you put it on the eye. That's not what I want. Clean my brush. Let's go down into Puff Puff, which is a dark green blue. I had it on my hair. Look, it's on my hair. It's like totally tinted my hair. That's crazy. I don't know, I got a big line of it. I'll have to fix that. Look at the tissue. This is patchy as hell. It's not wanting to build. That little piece of green is driving me crazy. Let me see if I can use my makeup wipe on it. I don't want it to stain my hair. I don't want my hair stained with a green spot. It's not working well. I want a little bit better on the left eye, but it's still patchy. I still have like a little spot there. This is not working very well. Let's get a blending brush. Try and clean off that color off my good little brush. Oh, that is looking like shit. That does not look good. It's blending straight away. That color does not even hold up to a blend. This palette is not thrilling me at all. These colors just blend away. Trying to soften up that one tiny bit of dark green there. Woo, this is rough. I'm gonna see how this, uh... Oh, Wolfie, well, welcome. How are you, sir? How's my good boy? He does not like to be picked up or I pick him up and show you. Wolfie in his full long hair glory. I'm gonna go into this shiny green. Not with this brush. Maybe I should try to use my finger. Because it swatched well. I'm an iridescent green. Let me try putting that on the lid. I 
It looks great on the lid. It's gone under my eye. I don't want to have a green dot in my hair. Not so good. Let me try putting this green glitter That green glitter is awesome. This is not a good look. This is a fail. I cannot fix this. I have tried to fix this. It just is, this is a fail of a palette. I, I usually can save a look, you know. Maybe I should try some of the blues. Let's try some blues. But I gotta try to fix this. Because so much of this look is cute. This blue called Kush is working. It's kind of a peacock blue. Okay, maybe I've saved it with this peacock blue. It blends away pretty easily also. I need to go under the brow with something. I'm going to go with the Star Island little mini Ofra. I gotta get something under there that'll work. And this is such a good little highlighter. It should help pull this together. Try not to get this mixed up with the green too much. That looks better. But I'm telling you, the highlighter is the star of this show. This is tough. Well, I think the blue saved it. But I don't love this Girl Scout palette. I don't love it. It is crazy. Let's put some eyeliner. That has not been opened. We will use the Maybelline Hyper Easy Eyeliner. What's, who's in here huffing? Who's having breathing problems? Oh, it's Jesse. Jesse has like kitty asthma. 
We love them so much. But I don't know how to give an inhaler to a cat. But we should take them to the vet. I am going to use a new mascara that I've got a trial size of. It's called Lash Freak from Urban Decay. And it's got a crazy wand. And it's a super wet formula. Well, it's making a, a dent. It's making this look come together. Oh, it's super wet. What's up, Wolfie? Little kitty Ruby is sleeping. Ah, this ends up looking pretty. I don't know if I like this mascara or not. We need to do the brows. This is a very labor intensive look today. But this palette is not great. It did not perform the way I was hoping it would perform. But that blue really, I'm glad I've tried that blue. It really pulled it together. Let's see. Brows, eyes, mouth. This is a long ass video. If you're still here, give me a, a star or a heart. Something to let me know you made it this far. And I'm going to use a nude color. I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Mile High. All right. We have a look with the Girl Scout palette from Cara Beauty. It was a tough palette, but we got a look. I'll give it another chance, but so far, not loving it. Have a great day or day of your choice, and we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye.